Kevin. Um, we have a little patient here, Carlo, and uh, he got himself into a bit of trouble. Um, he went missing for about five days, and now um, we've just been x-raying him because on, on his exam he was limping on his left um, hind leg quite a bit. Uh, not Well, actually, limping is not the right word. He was sort of barely weight-bearing on it. And uh, when we had a feel, you could feel that there was something not okay with his hip area. Uh, just also having a feel, what we could tell is, I'm just going to move him. He's actually currently just sedated at the moment. Sorry for the bugs. And um, I have oxygen. If we um, show you here, the length of his legs are different. So this is his uh, right hind leg. And um, it's, you can see it's kind of sitting there. And this is his left hind leg. And you can see that that's at least about sort of a five centimeters shorter than the left. And so what we found on, um, after x-raying him and sort of on suspicion as well, is um, that he has a luxated hip. So if you have a little look here, this is his uh, hip. Um, and, um, and this here is the, the femur and, um, and the, the ball of the femur and, uh, and the, the joint that it should sit in, like this one sitting nicely in where it should do, the ball and socket effect. This one is sitting high up and has been dislocated. Um, and unfortunately in this case, because uh, it, it has been, um, uh, so you can see here also, it's just sitting very high, whereas that one's in. Um, because he, he went missing for five days, we don't know when this actually happened. And uh, there's a lot of soft tissue swelling. And sometimes you're lucky and we can actually reduce a hip um, back into place. Um, but in this case, we are not able to because there is a lot of swelling. So um, we're going to have to decide on what we need to do for him, and that will probably be a surgical uh, correction um, if we are not uh, able to reduce it as we are not able to now. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with him. Okay. Okay, so we've got... Um, uh, we've I just done surgery on Carlos. He's... Um, he's recovered well and I, I wanted to just show you the x-rays um, to show you how it was repaired. Um, if you remember from before, the hip um, and the, the, um, the femur, um, the, the socket and the, was sort of sitting out of the socket, the, the femur head. And now if you look here, we've got um, the femur head, which is this little round area here, and the socket. Um, everything is back in place, it's nice and snug in there. And we've got this big pin here that is, um, that is actually keeping um, that in place. And um, the, pla the plan will be, so you can see it from the side view. If you remember seeing it from the side, we saw that the, the hip was, um, the, the, the femur was out, sitting out here. Now it's nice and back where it should be. Um, the plan is that we're going to, he's going to be in recovery. He's going to be pretty sore and, and um, he'll be, uh, we'll have him for a few days. He's going home. And then... Um, he'll be rested for four weeks with no jumping, no being able to do anything very much. And then after four weeks, we're actually going to be taking this pin out again. And, um, and then uh, that, that should have kept it all in place again. Um, so hopefully that will be the end of Carlos's problems with his leg.